And I remember there was a way I um I did try to uh, connect these last time, but um, I'm not sure if that's what made it work or not. Oh, I see. These aren't touching right here. Okay. So we did have an open space there. There we go. All right. So we were. That was the the trick. There was getting that uh, closed. So if it's not working for you, you might have an open gap. And in CAD, they call that. Uh, it wouldn't be a polyline. So now we can click that and push pull that back. And there's our arch. After a little sweat and tears there. Okay, so we are going to, um, our total thickness is going to be uh, three-fourths, and we need a groove right smack dab in the middle, and half of three-fourths is three-eighths, and half of three-eighths is three-sixteenths. So if we're drawing one half of this uh, profile, we need a tape measure guide to come over, three sixteenths and um, the depth of our groove that we're going to make is three eighths okay so all we're going to do is basically if I remember right um, draw a rectangle right here and then use the follow me tool if I can get my mouse and screen to uh, cooperate here come on keep going there we go excellent okay and click out of that now last time I had had to change my tenon and everything because everything was just really whacked out but now I can actually make the tenon or I could just make the tenon uh, after I could have made this a little bit thinner in thickness. I didn't have to go to the full three fourths, but it gives you a good idea of what I'm doing. If I push pull this back, um, let's see. This only needs to be how wide. I believe we can go. We've got three sixteenths and then three sixteenths over. I think that would be correct. Let's see here. So we need a tape measure guide. Another three sixteenths over. That way if we put two pieces together. Boy, sometimes my mouse really moves that piece much more than I want it to. All right. I'm just going to select push pull and I'll pull this um, right to that line. And now what I've done is I have half uh, of my arch. And if I'm not mistaken, this should measure uh, three eighths, I believe. Let's make sure that's true. Yep, that's true. So that is three eighths. And I 
I just got so much in, in my drawing here that um, I just didn't. I wanted to keep everything in the same. There we go. That's working now. All right. I can get rid of that measurement, I believe. Oh, that was my old one. Okay. It's like, well, it's already done. Here's my new one. I want to uh, move and copy that. So we're going to grab the move tool and the copy tool and just stay right on the green axis. And I'm going to flip along. I believe it's the green direction. Yep. And now this is on the opposite side of the way I would like it to be. So I'm going to move it. Right where I want it and place that together. Okay. And deselect. And I think I can get rid of that line, that line. I'm actually doing this much easier so far. Not sure why we had a little dot there, but what I don't know, I don't believe we can get rid of those lines. So uh, those don't bother me any and I hope they don't bother you and uh, we're just going to leave those in place. We have one last thing to do. We got to make the tenon that sticks out like a cope and stick door you might say. So this is easier than I thought it was going to be. Um, if I get my mouse to work without going crazy on me. Now I believe that's 3 8 right there. Let's measure it and make sure that is. So that means we can just grab a rectangle tool. We don't even uh, need a tape measure guide. And we can push pull this out. 3 eighths. I wanted to look at the top. Come on. There it goes. Okay, top's looking good. We gotta do the same thing to the other side. Grab my rectangle tool. There's my reference point. Oh, come on, stay with it. There we go. And we'll push pull that out. Three eighths. And there we go. We now have an arch. Uh, rail for our door and all we have to do now we could make this a component and we'll call it uh, demo or arched door rail and create Very good. Now, um, like I did before, if I go into Edit Component and hit my Scale tool, all I have to do is select this whole piece first, 
and then I can scale this uh, to any size I want and that is way cool alright so really when we're making doors and face frames we probably should make our door our styles and rails all components that way when we change one uh, it changes all of them in that particular door or face frame okay I hope this helps you uh, get more creative with uh, SketchUp. Thank you.